Why is lunar dust a problem? You know, unlike the Earth, which has weather, you know, these asteroids or meteors that hit the moon long time ago, they broke into dust, but there's no weather. So what happens is this dust that's on the surface, it doesn't get weatherized. It remains very sharp. And earlier what they found was that when this uh, lunar craft was landing on the surface, this dust would raise up and it would actually cause abrasion or damage to the sensitive instruments on those lunar craft. Um, and because it's the moon, the gravity is less, so that dust would rise up and it would stay there. And it would, you know, circulate around the earth, you know, the, around the surface of the moon or in that particular area, really without settling down. And so as long as the craft was in that area, or even as it was traveling, it would create this path of dust that caused problems for these craft. These are unique issues to uh, lunar craft that have to be addressed. Now, the exciting thing is when you're creating for these kind of harsh environments, the requirements are totally different, right? It has to be lightweight. It has to be, uh, have a lot of redundancies. The technology has to be very robust uh, and this is cool for us because it helps us to think and push the boundaries of what we're already doing.